Today we learned that the Supreme Court will hear arguments in, in April on whether former President Trump is immune from prosecution in his case related to January 6th and trying to overturn the 2020 election. Lower courts had denied the president's claim of absolute immunity. Natalie Brand breaks down what it means for his federal election interference trial. It's a question that's never been before the U.S. Supreme Court. This isn't just me. This is all president. They have to be given immunity. Otherwise, they, they're going to be unable to act. Weeks from now, justices will hear arguments related to former President Trump's claim and consider whether and if so, to what extent does a former president enjoy presidential immunity from criminal prosecution for conduct alleged to involve official acts during his tenure in office. This Trump immunity case is not a case that any justice on the Supreme Court wanted to decide. I think, frankly, they concluded they just had no choice, given the importance of the case, the magnitude of these issues. Lower courts have already rejected Trump's arguments of absolute immunity, including the D.C. Federal Appeals Court. Could a president who ordered SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival who was not impeached, would he be subject to criminal prosecution? If he were impeached and convicted first. A ruling by the Supreme Court on the immunity claim is expected by June, putting the former president's federal election interference trial on hold. But the timing puts Trump's legal battles on a collision course with the campaign trail. Legal experts say it's a big question whether the trial can be scheduled and wrapped up before votes are cast. You're starting to get very, very close to that date where the Justice Department will have to say we're too close to an election. We're going to have to fold our tents and see what the world looks like after the election. The timing could put the DOJ in a difficult position with early voting in some states scheduled to begin in September. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. And that's one of four criminal prosecutions the former president is facing. Tonight, Israel